Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it's so nice to meet you. Today we're going to be doing a June favorites video and if you don't know, I film these every month just because I like them. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. First thing that I want to talk about is this dress. I went to church this morning so I decided to wear a dress. This dress is from Billabong. I just got it and I just think it's so fun, summery. It is a little bit see-through so that's something to keep in mind but if I can find it I'll link it down below. My makeup favorite for this month is actually this palette. It's the Tartlet in Bloom palette and this is a very neutral based palette. There's nothing like extraordinary about it, but in the summer, I just feel like these are the colors that I gravitate towards because, I don't know, just in summer, I don't really want to spend a lot of time on my makeup. I kind of just want to get out and go. So when I'm not just putting bronzer off my eyelids, I'll use this palette and I've been using it a lot lately. For my skincare favorite of the month, I'm actually going to be talking about a tan that I've been using. It's the Jergens Natural Glow wet skin moisturizer in medium to tan so I've been using this you'll use it right when you're done showering so before you dry yourself off you just put it wherever you want and it definitely has even out my terrible farmer's tan that I had so I'm super happy about that and everything kind of matches right now so this has been really good it's super affordable too and it's not hard to use because I've actually never used a fake tan before so this is the first one I've ever used and this one was really easy to use. I did mess up once but other than that it's been good. The book that I'm reading this month is Live Love Lead by Brian Houston. I took the cover off because I just don't like those but it's just this black book without that cover and it has been a great book. Brian Houston if you don't know he's the pastor of Hillsong Church. He started all of the Hillsong churches, so he's the guy that started this amazing movement across the entire world. So he is awesome. He wrote this book, and I've just been really enjoying it. It's been very encouraging. So if you like encouraging Christian books, I definitely recommend this one. Then for my favorite YouTuber favorite of the month, it is Liza Koshi, and she actually stopped making videos so I've just been re-watching all the other ones. She hasn't made videos in like a year or two but I just found out about her and I just started watching her. I feel so behind in the game but basically what she does is she makes these little skits and they're super funny. Sometimes not the most appropriate but I think they're super funny so I've been watching those. They're only like three to five minutes long like they're very short videos but there's a lot of planning that goes into it, you can tell. So I've been enjoying her YouTube videos at the moment. So my worship favorite of the month is To The One by Upper Room. heard Upper Room, what are you doing? Because Upper Room is so good. They're a newer worship group and I'm pretty sure they're from Texas, but they made the famous song Defender. It's pretty popular in the Christian realm right now and they also have a lot of other jams. So check them out. I really encourage you to do that. For my secular song favorite of the month, it's called Talk Too Much by the band Coin. I love the band Coin. You probably saw in past favorite videos that I favorited the song Cemetery by Coin. That song is 
so good. That is still one of my favorites, but I do like this one as well. And I just discovered that they have a song called Hannah by them. It's by the band Coin. And it's spelled the exact same way that I spell my name and everything. That song is really good too. Although it's talking about like breaking up with a girl named Hannah. I still think it's good. So maybe that'll be in a favorites video later. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed these favorites. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and comment down below your favorites of this month because I really want to know. I love discovering new things, whether it's makeup or beauty or songs or books or just anything. I love to hear about those. Even YouTubers. Tell me about some cool YouTubers that you like to watch down in the comment section below. So that's it. I will see you guys next Saturday. Bye guys!